Hello, today I'll be guiding you through the setup and installation of the HP OfficeJet 3830 all-in-one series printer. Getting started, we will follow instructions and illustrations on the setup that are included with the printer. First, we will walk through the setup using the CD to install the necessary driver information. These are the steps for setting up the printer using the CD DVD installation. Unpack the printer from the box. When unpacking the printer from the box, make sure to remove all the tape securing the printer and inspect the printer and make sure there was no damage in shipping. Also, it would be a good idea to check to make sure you have all of the accessories as indicated. Connect the power cord. To connect the power cord and power the printer on, connect the power cord to the rear of the printer. Plug the other end of the power cord into an electrical outlet. Then press the power button to turn the printer on. Load paper in the input tray. To load paper in the input tray, raise the input tray. Slide the paper width guide all the way to the left. Load plain white paper into the input tray. Slide the stack of papers down until it stops. Do not use too much paper, otherwise the printer can get jammed with too much paper in the input tray. Slide the paper width guide to the right until it touches the paper. Do not push the width guide too far, otherwise it could bind the paper. Pull out the output tray, then raise the tray extender. Install the ink cartridges. Install the ink cartridges that ship with your printer. Open the exterior door. Open the ink cartridge door. The ink cartridge carriage moves to the center so that you can install ink cartridges easily. Wait until the printer is idle or silent before continuing. Remove one of the ink cartridges from its package, then remove the protective tape. When you install ink cartridges, do not touch the cupboard colored contacts or the, or the ink nozzles. Handling these parts can result in clogs, ink failure, and bad electrical connections. Slide the new ink cartridge at a slight upward angle into the empty slot. Gently push up on the ink cartridge until it snaps into place. Insert the color ink in the left slot and the blank ink in the right slot. Close the ink cartridge access door than the exterior door. Align ink cartridges. Ink cartridge alignment is necessary to achieve the best print quality. Touch OK on the screen after loading the paper. The printer automatically prints an alignment page. Lift the scanner lid, then place the alignment page with the print side down. Position the alignment page according to the engraved guides on the glass. Close the scanner lid and touch OK on the screen to scan the page and complete the ink cartridge alignment. Set up country, region, and time date on the configuration screen. When you power on the printer for the first time, the language menu displays. Had your preferred language, then touch yes to confirm your choice. Then the country region menu displays. Touch your specific country region. Then touch yes to confirm. The date time menu displays. Select the date, touch next, select the time, then touch done. Installing the printer software. Insert the CD into your CD DVD drive to begin installing the software. If the installation does not start, browse the computer or file explorer. Click on this PC and double click the CD DVD drive icon with the HP logo and double click Setup EXE. When the software finishes installing, it will ask you to create an account so you can activate your printer. Connecting to your computer. Do not connect your computer until Setup instructs you to do so. When prompted, connect your printer to your computer by inserting one end of the USB cable into the printer and the other end into a USB port on your computer. Setting a default printer. To print, you must make sure that the printer is set as your default printer. To do so, click on your computer's control panel and view devices and printers. Make sure your printer has a check mark and circle next to it. If your printer is set as default, right click and choose set as default. Test print a document. Choose the document and try to print, and if it prints, you have installed successfully. If it does not print, recheck power and reload paper and ensure that the ink cartridges are installed correctly. Also, make sure the ink Access doors are completely closed. Then we try printing. If document prints, then you have successfully completed the installation. These are the steps for setting up the printer using the wireless installation. Installing the printer software. You must be connected to the internet to install the printer software. Visit 123.hp.com to search for your printer and download the software. When the software finishes installing, it will ask you to create an account so you can activate your printer. Setting, connecting to your computer. After software installs, it will prompt you to select a wireless USB. If you select USB, install the USB cable by plugging one end into the printer at the other end of the USB port on your computer. If you select wireless, make sure wireless is enabled on your printer. On the home screen on the control panel, display touch wireless. If it shows wireless off, touch settings and then turn wireless on. The printer shows up on the IP address list. Setting a default printer. Test print a document. 
as with all electrical equipment, caution must be practiced when using and cleaning your printer. It is advised that you read all instructions in the owner's manual that came with your printer. As there are all warnings as indicated on the printer and in the owner's manual, plug the printer from the electrical outlet before cleaning. And install or use this printer in your water or when you are wet. Install the printer on a stable surface. Install the printer in a protected location where no one can step or trip over the power cord. If the printer does not operate correctly, see the help file. Only use a power cord and power adapter that came with your printer to avoid wattage problems and fire hazards. If you are unable to print, make sure the power cord connections are secure. Make sure printer is powered on. The power button will be lit. Make sure the HP printer software is installed on your computer. If your printer is connected with the USB cable, make sure the USB connections are secure. If your printer is connected with wireless connection, confirm that the wireless connection is working. Make sure you do not overlook setting your printer as the default printer. You can visit the HP Diagnostic Tools website to download free diagnostic utilities to see what the problem is. If you continue to have a problem printing with USB connection, remove the USB cable from your computer. Then restart your computer. After you, your computer restarts into CD DVD drive on your computer, <laughs> while well, asking instructions and do not plug in the USB connection until instructed to do so. After software installs, restart your computer. This way you can make sure that the USB connection is working correctly. If you are having difficulty printing from wireless, confirm that wireless is enabled on your printer. On the home screen on the control panel display, touch wireless. If it shows wireless off, touch settings and then turn wireless on and confirm your printer is connected to your network. On the home screen on the control panel display, touch wireless. Check to see if something failed during the test. Touch settings, touch print reports, touch wireless test reports to print the wireless test report. Make sure that your security software, such as firewalls, are not blocking communications over your network. Temporarily disable your firewall and check if the problem goes away. Restart the components of the wireless network. Turn off the router and then the printer. Turn the router back on and then the printer. Sometimes turning off devices and turning them back on helps resolve network communication issues. If you still cannot connect, turn off the router, the printer, and the computer. Then turn on the router, the printer, and the computer. If you could still have problems, you can visit the HP Wireless Printing Center to find the most complete up-to-date information about wireless printing. To convert a USB connected printer to wireless, make sure that the printer software is installed. Double-click the printer icon on the desktop. In the printer software, click Utilities. Select Printer Setup and Software. Select Convert a USB connected printer to wireless. Then follow the on-screen instructions. To use a wireless printer without a router, make sure that Wi-Fi Direct is turned on. On the home screen on the control panel display, touch Wi-Fi Direct. If it's off, touch Settings and then turn Wi-Fi Direct on. Turn the Wi-Fi connection to on your mobile device or computer to on. Depending on your device, connect to your wireless network like you would normally. You can set up fax by using the printer software using the fax setup wizard after you have the software installed. To connect the phone line, connect one end of the phone cord to the phone wall jack. Connect the other end to the port labeled one line on the back of the printer. On the home screen on the control panel display, touch fax. Touch setup, touch setup wizard, and then follow the on-screen instructions. To send a standard fax, slow your original print side down on the right front corner of the scanner glass or print side up in the document feeder. From home screen on the control panel display, touch fax. Touch send now. Touch enter fax number. Enter the fax number by using the keypad. To add dashes in the fax number, we believe press pound until the dash appears on the display. Touch OK and then touch black or color. To send a fax to an extension phone, dial the number by using the keypad on an extension phone that is connected to the printer. Do not use the keypad on the printer control when sending a fax using this method. If the recipient answers the phone, you can engage in a conversation before sending the fax. If the fax machine answers the call, you will hear fax tones from the receiving fax machine. Load your original print side down on the right front corner of the scanner glass or print set up in the document feeder from the printer control display. Touch fax. Touch send and receive. Touch send now then touch black or color. By default the printer automatically answers incoming calls and receives faxes. To receive faxes manually, turn off auto answer from the printer control panel. To enable auto answer, make sure the printer is turned on and paper is loaded. From the home screen on the control panel display, touch fax. Touch setup. Touch preferences, then touch auto answer to turn it on. To receive a fax, manually make sure the printer 
is turned on and paper is loaded. Remove any originals from the document feeder. So that the rings are answered to a higher number to allow you time to answer the incoming call before the printer does. Ask the sender to start sending the fax. When you hear fax tones on the home screen on the printer control display, touch fax. Touch send and receive a touch, receive no. When the printer begins to receive the fax, you can hang up the phone and remain on the line. To reprint, receive faxes from memory, make sure paper is loaded in the input tray. On the home screen on the printer control display, touch fax. Touch reprint, select the fax you want to print, then touch print. When you touch reprint, the faxes are displayed in the reverse order from when they were received. On the most recent receive fax displayed first. Fax reports provide useful system information about the printer. Flip the home screen on the printer display, touch fax. Touch setup, touch reports, and touch the report that you want to print. If the printer cannot send but receive faxes, perform a copy or scan to ensure that the printer is working properly. Check the physical fax connections. Check if other fax devices can send to the same phone number. A receiving fax device may have blocked your phone number or might have be having technical difficulties. If the problem persists, print the fax test support fax log, then contact HP for further help. If your printer cannot receive but can send faxes, check the fax settings on the printer. Check the fax, so fax connections. Check if other devices connected to the same phone line can receive faxes. A phone line might be faulty or the sending device might be having a problem sending faxes. Check to see what the problem is with the sender. If the problem persists, print a fax test report, fax log, and contact HP for further help. If a printer cannot send or receive faxes, perform a copy or scan to make sure the printer is working properly. Check the physical fax connections. Check the fax settings on the printer control display. Check if other devices connected to this phone line can send or receive faxes. There might be a problem with the phone line. Reset the printer by unplugging it and turning off the main switch. Wait for a few seconds, then plug the printer back in and turn on the switch. Try to send or receive a fax on the printer. If the problem persists, print the fax test report and fax log and then contact HP for further help. When installing the software, it gives you the option to choose USB or wireless. I always choose wireless because I can print from different systems in my house. If you choose wireless, it will give you the option to connect the printer to your network. This concludes the installation of your new HP OfficeJet 3830 all-in-one series printer.